You're looking at the uh, text line. Anything yeah, good? So typical of liberals. Don't talk about the options for all Americans to improve themselves. What are we talking about? Just oh, oh the, the story about uh, the most segregated yeah. cities in America. Mm. Where, like, if you leave and what, what the point of the story that you had was among the top, was it what? Top 10, top 15, most segregated cities in America. Mm. New Orleans and Baton Rouge were both in there. Yeah, New or- Baton Rouge was 13. Now, I think you're, New you're a six. Baton Rouge native is yes. is for lack of a better term, is white flight, but I'd rather call it economic flight, a problem in that city. It certainly is in New Orleans. The city at the top of that list, Detroit, certainly is. Uh, that is certainly a problem there. Mm-hmm, you bet it is. So my question once again to you is, being a Baton Rouge native, I don't know the situation in Baton Rouge. Is it becoming, you're down there a couple times a year, family, mm-hmm. friends. Is it becoming more and more a segregated city? Is the economic circumstance of Baton Rouge so bad that, that people are fleeing the city, like New Orleans, like Detroit? I'd say like Shreveport. If this was not a top 100 cities list... I would hazard to bet Shreveport would be on this list. But back to Baton Rouge. Baton Rouge, absolutely. Is it like that? Do you notice that? People are moving to Ascension Parish, to Livingston Parish. People are moving out of the city. If you've got state government in your town, if you have a university with forty to 50,000 students, how many at L- LSU? 35? 30, 30, I think, yeah. If you have a university that is one of the major universities in America with thirty or 35 or 40,000 students... Mm-hmm. How do you have economic trouble? You you have I've, a lot of people leaving the city for the suburbs. Why? Because what? it's Look, better. If the two biggest businesses in Baton Rouge are state government and the university, why are people fleeing Baton Rouge, leaving only, according to this story, poor blacks in Baton Rouge? What exactly is going on? Crime. Crime is one problem. That's for sure. We'll go to break here in a second. Think about the top two or three reasons why people of wealth of means Mm -hmm. are abandoning Baton Rouge. Are the problems of Baton Rouge the same in New Orleans? Are the problems in Baton Rouge the same as here? Are there no jobs? No, you've got state government. You've got a university. Do you think Shreveport would have the problems it'd have if we had a 30,000 student university? Oh, we'd be in much better shape. Or if if state government were located here? Headquartered here? Boy, we'd be in much better shape. So what is Baton Rouge doing? What is Baton Rouge city government doing to screw it up?